Week 23 of Glassmaker, Nightwave Series 3. So week 23 of Glassmaker Series 3. Hopefully, Episode 5 will come out in the next few weeks. They have said it will come out in October. But this week, Elite Acts defeat A, Silver Grove Spectre. Do miss it being 3. Will admit, it was more entertaining when it was 3. That should also be defeat a Silver Grove Spectre on the Steel Path. That would make it more interesting. And the other one is complete eight Railjack missions. Oh, that had to turn up now, didn't it? Ah, uh, typical. Normal acts, complete five different bounties in the Orb Valis, complete three rescue missions, clear a Railjack boarding party without your Warframe taking damage. Hmm. Again, had to turn up now, didn't it? Kill 30 Xmas and complete three extermination missions. All pretty easy to do. Cred offerings, obviously. Kuva, Nyatan, Vorban, Ports, Catalyst, Reactor. Bunch of different helmets, four different frames. Hmm, not seeing it. Maybe it's a little bit further down, but uh, auras. Infested impedance, reduce the speed of infested enemies. That can be really useful, especially with the whole open world at the minute being infested. Loot detector, that shows obviously loot on your radar within 30 meters. Speed holster, kind of a useless one, but rejuvenation is really useful, especially if you're running a frame like Nidus who doesn't have shields. Then there is the Frago of Brock skin. Uh, that is the Brock skin for the Frago. Turns it into Spiky Hammer. There is the Gundao Cyanide skin. We all should have seen Neja coming with this since that skin existed. Makes a lot of sense now, doesn't it? And the Pyra Cyanide skin. Also really look really, really nice looking. The Pangolin Sword, only way to get the blueprint for this is from the Nightwave reward system. Same for the Plasma Sword. This you can also only get through this system. Ooh, Dark Sword as well. They are all three of these are melee weapons and you can only get the blueprints from here. Though, I keep getting told you can get them from the login reward system as well. So, not sure if that one's true or not. There is the Kinetic Siphon Trap Decoration, Landing Craft ornament basically. Kind of wish that it would um, move up and down so it would close and open. Close and open. Would make it look much better. Augments. There is recharge barrier, electric shield augment for Volt. Allies that pass through have a 35% shield restored. Purifying flames. Fire blast augment for Ember. Allies hit by it have the 4% granted ring of fire on status immunity. Yeah, that's a mouthful. And then focused acceleration while aiming 80% projectile speed for the Tetra. Honestly, the whole allies hit by the expanding ring of fire will be granted 4 seconds of status immunity for Ember. Sounds a little bit better to me, especially since Ember Prime is currently a thing through the whole Prime Unvaulting system, or the Prime Unsealed, or whatever that goes by at the moment anyway. But that's about it for another week, so we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.